What's up, what's up, everybody? It's the Real Rasta Boy TV, and it's the Real Rasta Boy on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all the same time. It's Monday, Basketball Wives Monday, and tonight this is the finale. Hopefully, y'all were watching on VH1. Just went off, and actually, the movie. It's crazy, sexy, cool. The TLC biopic movie is currently going on on VH1, so I'm not going to be with y'all too long with this recap. But anyway, I just want to give a cheers up to everybody out there who's celebrating birthday tonight, today, and the rest of this week. So, happy birthday today to Kim Kardashian and Amber Rose. Also, to Judge Judy, um, all of them celebrating their birthdays today on October 21st. A big birthday shout out to all of y'all, fellow October, um, Octoberans. And my birthday is on this Friday, October 25th. Yes, I was turning it up on Saturday the 26th at my all-white mm, birthday bash here in my Casablanca in Delaware. So I'll be having a huge-ass all-white bash B-Day party. So if y'all follow me on Instagram at the TheRealRestable or Twitter at the same name, you can get more information there. But please hit your boy up and keep on subscribing and liking. And please let me know and sound off about how y'all thought about tonight's Basketball Wives Season 5 finale. Oh, the drink of the night. I'm drinking peach orchid um, juice with brown rum. Cheers it up and let's go and dive in. Mm. Oh, God. This, I can't tell this is good. It's so refreshing. Anyway, I'm just going to dive right in. So the season finale... Started off a bit dry. They get they get us all amped up last week about Kenya Bell returning and all this um, Tasha Marbury um, stalker coming in to um, cause a riot and shit. Long story short, um, the girls returned from London. You know they were in London for fa London Fashion Week and they were amping up and bigging up Evelyn for having a good ass fashion show. First of all, she just showed like six or five maxi dress. Sorry, um, um. Are they maxi dress? Maxi dress or some kind of damn um um dress that you get from um <laughs> some dress you could get from some sundresses you could get from Kmart or um some I'm not knocking Evan Hus because you know Nicki Minaj has her own clothing line now at um Kmart. So it does um that other Spanish girl from Mother and Family. I was telling him again. Um I, um Vergara, um Sophia Vergara and you know people are getting their brands into regular affordable name brands, no, sorry, affordable, no department stores. So I'm not knocking Evelyn for trying to do some maxi dresses or sundress or whatever you want to call them that she was trying to make them, you know, affordable or whatever. She, but the fashion show that she had in London was not off the chain. I don't know why Evelyn amping her up that the fashion show was off the chain because it was off the chain for me. It was a good effort. That's all I'm going to say. So the return from London, when they returned from London, Kenya Bell reached out to Tammy, because you know she and Tammy was mad cool. Tammy last season went with well, last time Kenya and the other girl was on basketball wives, they had um they were trying to make over Kenya because Kenya was trying to do the whole wanna be an artist and Tammy was a so called image consultant. I don't know where she, who died and made Tammy Roman an image consultant. Anyway, um Kenya Moore sorry See, the names are so close, and they're all on TV. Kenya Moore's on 18 House, but Kenya Bell called Tammy and told Tammy that she's going to be in the Hollywood, L.A. area, and she wants to know if all the girls will be able to come and see her perform her new song. I think the song was called either Hate On Me or something with a hate word in there. Anyway, Tammy agreed to tell the girls to see what the girls will say, and you know... It's going to be a kiki because the girls all like to go and try to start up some drama because all season been dry. Evelyn and um, Chad's story, um, you know, Tammy was losing her mom. You know, um, Shawnee working in this play that she's trying to bring to somewhere to Broadway or somewhere across the, um, the nation. Um, the Wives of Basketball, that's what the play is called. Um, Susie just being a follower and trying to chime in on every damn thing with her damn stiff-ass mouth that she can barely move because of the damn surgery that she has. And Tasha Mary just giving me her hair is a laid, cute, and fierce makeup and don't care about what nobody want to say about her weave bar in Harlem. <laughs> or Brooklyn. Wherever that weave bar is. Anyway, let me dive into um, the part where um, Tasha has a stalker. This girl named Monet. Money, M-O-N-E-T. So I find her on Twitter because, you know, VH1 tweeted her out there. First of all, 
why is VH1 and basketball wise people giving money um all this sunshine on their show um when this girl all at once is a 50 minutes of fame so I went to find her Twitter page because VH1 tweeted her name out there um, I'm not sure I can find her name and, and flash it up on my screen I think it's money Archie Bell or something I can't remember her name but I tweeted her tonight and she tweeted me back and I asked her can she give me a phone interview so I can get her side about this whole stalking Tasha Marbury and her friends and friending her people on Twitter and the husband drama stuff. So I really want to talk to this um, girl, um, Monet. She did reply that she would love to do an interview with me on the phone. So I'm trying to secure that right now. So as soon as she confirms that with me and we do record the phone interview between me and her, I would definitely be posting it here on the Real Rasta Boy um, um, TV so y'all can listen and chime in about this girl, Monet, to see what she's about and what she's trying to get out of this 50 minutes of, uh, 5 minutes of fame because VH1 did give her 5 minutes of their time on Basketball Wives tonight. They not only invited her to wherever they were having dinner or drinks or that, but they had her sit down there, talk about the whole spill, which I couldn't really make sense of, and then she ended up walking off um, her hair. Sorry, your hair was looking like the, the Tasha, um, Tasha Weave Bar in Brooklyn or Harlem did your weave, girl. Because, no, no lie, as much as people wear weave and sometimes they want to be redone and just brush it back with some gel and stuff, girl, your hair was not looking on point for you trying to be on TV for five minutes. But anyway, I will go over that with her if she does give me the chance to speak with her on the phone and get this 411 about the stalker of Tasha Marbury and her husband and her following Tasha friends on Twitter and the other ladies on Basketball Wise. I really want to get a tea for money, the real tea. Okay, so other than that now, so let's go to the meetup for um, Kenya Bell's performance. So she's, they all got, you know, they're all gagging and they're all kicking. So they all got to the location where Kenya's having a performance. And they're all wondering if Kenya's, if the, the song that Kenya is singing about tonight, if it's for Evelyn or, 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 what's her name? Tight Mouth, um, um. Susie Q. Okay. So they get there and stuff like that. So Kenya Moore came out. She did her thing. She had on this little shimmery top and leggings or something like that. She looked okay. You know, not what I would pick for her for a performance. And she was just doing a lot of hair tossing. And she was doing a lot of stuff. And she was singing over a track. Which is most of what people do when they go to clubs. They sing over a track. And they try to get the... the I, I don't know. I could barely hear what the song was. When VH1 trying to play it back, when the show was coming back, before they started chatting during commercial, I kind of was trying to hear this. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find it on YouTube to see if it's eating anything worth listening to. But Kenya, Kenya Bell, she got a um, record deal. I don't know what record label, record label out of their mind gave a record deal. And she she went ahead and told Miss Tamerman that she has image consultants and people at the record label who are consulting with her and pointing out to her what they're looking for and trying to help her with her image and all that stuff. So Tammy was wondering, are they really doing that? Because if they were the way you look tonight and sounded and performed, you know, they wouldn't have allowed you to go up, well, go up on stage and looking like that. But it's not here or there. The most important part of tonight, other than... Kenya Bell performance that was not up to par. She was out of breath, and the performance was overall a zero out of ten. Um, she went ahead and trying to ask the girls how did they think her performance was. You know, Tammy always trying to be vocal and speak up. The other girls are kind of like biting their lips and whatever. So she invited them over to her hotel room later the next day or whatever to, to ask. You know, and for them to give their two cents about their performance. She, they came over, she offered them cocktails, Tammy, her beer, and they offered the cheese and crackers, whatever. And there goes Susie who just chiming in, trying to find out exactly. So, what this, who's the song about, really? Because who we want to find out? Oh, Lord. So, she and Kennebel got into it. She and Kennebel got into it. For more, Susie, why would you go to someone's place and try to cause a ride eruption or shit with them for? I don't blame Kenya. She whipped your ass, and I'm so mad at you, VH1. Every time, you know, I don't, 
condom violence, but shit. If I'm watching all these shows and you're not going to give me the damn fight, don't tease me. Don't get me that excited trying to watch a show and not show me the damn fight. So I was mad at VH1 for getting me all excited that all oh, we're going to show you, we, oh, Kenna Moore and Two's having a damn ass fight. And obviously I'm going to show it to the last two minutes of the show so we have to... Watch the entire damn episode. So we didn't see the fight with um Susie and, and Ken. All of the we saw that Susie had that blood up face because obviously she tried to throw a plate at um at, at Ken and Ken handled her. And as you know, Ken had a bl- I'm sorry, not Ken, but you know, Ken fixed her hair because you know her hair was all over the place. But Susie had a blood up lip and and the way the whole time it described it said Susie lost the fight and Ken whooped her ass. So obviously Susie got her ass whipped. But so much for her trying to stand up for herself. They've been amping her up all season, telling about, oh, Susie, you need to stand up for yourself. Don't let um, Tasha walk over you. Don't let this person walk over you. You need to be stand up for yourself and be strong. And when people are trying to walk over you, walk over you um, talk up or whatever. So there goes she trying to talk over herself. Well, tonight, I think that Susie didn't need to say shit to Kenna because Kenna didn't come to her about anything, but she just want to chime up and be vocal, and I guess made her presence be 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 be, be felt because you know obviously they, she maybe she would possibly want to come over season six for Basketball Wives if Shawnee make another Basketball Wives episodes. Sorry, season six because right now I heard that Evelyn may not come back. Um, Tammy I guess not coming back, so it's gonna be I guess what Susie and um Tasha and um and Shawnee. <laughs> I guess I'm going to bring back Kenya Bell because, you know, she was drama tonight and everybody was watching for that fight. And big ups to you, Miss Kenya Bell. You won the DM fight, girl. You can't have somebody come in your turf trying to rule you and bully you um, on your own turf and win a fight. So go ahead, Kenya, and do that thing. I can't wait for this reunion. I want to tape it yet because, you know, normally after the show airs for the finale, they normally gives you they normally give you a sneak peek of the reunion that comes up like a week or two after. I'm not seeing the previews, no pictures anywhere, but as soon as I get the pictures or anything from a sneak peek of Basketball Wives um, Season 5 reunion, start taping or any leaked pictures and stuff, I'll definitely post it on my blog, therealrasterboy.blogspot.com. But right now, I heard nothing about the reunion so far, I don't know who's going to be the host, hopefully not John Sally with his tall ass, whack ass, but anyway... I gotta go TLC, Crazy Sex and Cool movies right now on VH1. And I gotta go watch because it's the hour and a half tonight. And I love my girl TLC. Please make sure y'all go ahead and cop TLC's new album, 20, in stores now. And thank you so much for watching. And have a birthday to everybody out there. If I don't see you, if I don't make another video before the end of the week, have a birthday to me all early. Have a birthday to everybody out there. Team Scorpio, have a birthday to everybody out there. Team Libra, Team Scorpios, have a birthday to all of y'all. And... Um, please leave y'all comments about what y'all thought about tonight's finale of Basketball Wives season, season 5. Okay. I'll catch y'all soon, okay? So bye from now. Deuce. Sit. Ah.